Morgan here. I am with Ron from Tactical Fitness Austin. We just had an amazing class. This was your first Krav Maga Concealed class, right? Yeah, so it's the first one that we put out. Uh, that's a Krav Maga for Concealed Carry course. Um, we have, of course, touches of Krav Maga in our combat pistol courses, but this one really kind of hones in the skills and pushes you through the ringer. It really pushed me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect. I was like, oh, you know, just some pulling of the gun, like punching, whatever. No, like it was serious stress. Like <laughs> you really put us through stress, like having to run around and do those real fast drills. I was like, <laughs> it's really, really good. So absolutely, thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about how you got into this. So uh, I've been doing Krav Maga. Actually, started at this very gym, just a different location, uh, about 12 years ago, and um, trained like crazy. I don't know fell in love with it, trained a whole bunch, uh, became an instructor shortly after, um, and then joined the Israeli military. There I continued training, obviously, Krav Maga, that's where Krav Maga comes from. Yeah. Uh, got into firearms there, uh, kind of the majority of my work nowadays is with actually with firearms. And what I've done is essentially combined the two uh, into one level. People love to train firearms, people love to train martial arts, they don't really train the two together, and a lot of, a lot of people carry, a lot of people carry, and they, they need to know how to get to their gun when uh, the situation calls for it, or how to retain their gun and prevent people to, from stealing their own gun. Right, I love your realistic approach to everything because he's not just like talking about, you know, well this is how you train for competitive shooting and stuff like that. No, it's real world tactics, right? Like it's, you know, what's going to happen if somebody tries to grab your gun? What's gonna happen if somebody tries to steal for your gun? You know, people can do a maraud of different things and so, you know, especially if you're concealed carrying. I never thought about combining Krav Maga with concealed carry. I did have a question from a subscriber. I told people I was coming okay, here. Awesome. <laughs> um, so what would all of these techniques, the one, he's gonna show you one of the kind of main ones that we learned. Um, would you recommend this for like a senior audience who still carries? That's a tough one. Um, yes, absolutely. You know, everything can be scaled to your level. Uh, and there's some things you can do, especially if you carry a cane, that's a great tool and weapon you can use. Um, but yeah, Krav Maga is for everybody. I've trained people as young as three years old, that actually in Russian, that didn't speak, uh, they were in Brooklyn, they were like in a Russian preschool, to 75 year olds and older. Uh, you know, everything can be scaled to your ability, uh, to your level. Uh, obviously, there's just some things you won't be able to do, right. maybe some movements you won't be able to do because it may hurt you, may uh, may put you under stress that you, you shouldn't be putting yourself in, but everything can be scaled to your ability. Um, so it's for everybody. So just tweak it a little bit, you know, like learn the techniques, but just tweak it towards yeah. your specific. Yeah. I, I have a rifle course coming up at the end of the month and I have a guy in a wheelchair coming for it. And that's the third course he's taken from me. So, nice. you Very know, cool. if you want to train, we'll train you. That, yeah. You just have to have the right attitude to come in want to check it out you know as you always say it's all about mindset yeah right? it's all so, mindset yeah so would you mind showing us a, a technique that uh, we learned yeah we'll go over the palm strike yeah. I think it's just the simplest easiest technique to to utilize and learn and uh, apply so we have to realize that in the street um, we're not gonna be hitting nice punching back that's soft uh, and we're not gonna be in a nice, comfortable environment. We're gonna be in an environment where we can really hurt ourselves and actually prevent ourselves from getting to our gun if need be. Uh, whether it's missing a strike and hitting a hard concrete floor or missing hitting the wall or a window, whatever we can hurt our hands. So we wanna minimize that. One of the strikes that we learned in today's course is the open palm strike. The open palm strike is gonna be made with the heel of the palm and it's gonna look like so. I'm sending my hand out towards my target I'm gonna make contact with the heel of the palm like we said earlier. Right before I make contact, I'm gonna turn my hand in slightly just to reduce pressure on my wrist. And I'm gonna rotate my hips into the strike. The way I'm putting actual weight behind that strike and rotating in. And of course, as I make contact, I exhale. And that's the strike. Uh, once again, it's a, it's a lot safer to use than a closed fist. Uh, your risk is greatly reduced for breaking your hand. Um, but you do lose some of the pressure of a close, close-handed strike. But that's it. That's the palm strike. Thank you so much. I'm going to be practicing all of this at home. And uh, thank you so much again. And please uh, tell everybody where they can find you. Your YouTube, Instagram. He's everywhere. So, yeah. so I am uh, on Instagram at Tactical Fitness Austin. Uh, 
Same thing, Facebook, Tactical Fitness Austin, uh, YouTube, same name. We do have a Twitter account, we don't really use it. Um, and you can uh, message us there if you have any questions, shoot us an email, and of course our website, tacticalfitnessaustin.com. Uh, we've released lately a whole bunch of uh, informative videos from how to properly dry your gun to how to fight to get to your gun. All kinds of videos coming out, a lot more coming soon. So uh, stay tuned and follow us. If you're on Instagram, absolutely follow him, even if you don't live in Texas or anything, because he's always posting videos of like real life assaults. And it really, really puts things into perspective. You're like, wow, what would I do in that situation? It's really tough. So um, thank you again so much. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah. Uh, come visit him, and especially if you're in Texas, get into one of his classes. Get in. <laughs> When it comes to concealed carry, there are many situations in which you may not be able to grab your gun right away. So, you know, do you need to possibly disarm them before you can grab your gun? Do you need to possibly uh, just, you know, get distance between you and that person before you can draw your gun? Do you have a girlfriend or a husband or, you know, a child that you need to uh, keep in mind when it comes to, um, you know, conceal carrying and and defending yourself and protecting yourself so i'm a huge fan of um creating distance through krav maga or you know in some cases you know if you're getting robbed you're just gonna give them your money and go away you know i think there are so many cowboys out there that just want to immediately draw their their pistols and go but that's not the reality of the situation you need to go on google and google realistic self-defense situations and you can say all day long about how you would do this and you would do that but you weren't there and you know what else you need to get properly trained in a variety of techniques not just dry firing practice with your firearm but you know um hand to hand even if it's just you know uh, the the palm strike something that you can have in your arsenal that can help you um evade escape especially for moms i'm going to be talking more about this uh in future videos for mom self-defense but um you know there's so much to it get in, in classes get trained and uh, you know take actual concealed carry and get into some krav maga classes because that stuff That'll test you for sure. It all comes down to practice, practice, practice. And uh, you know, when you learn new techniques, don't just leave them at the class that you learned them. Go home, train. So I'm gonna be setting up our punching bag and uh, trying a lot of the strikes that he taught today, as well as incorporating a lot of the pull techniques um, from the concealed carry portion of it. Um, so I love this class. It was so unique, something I've never heard of before. And combining the two is just genius for me. So uh, definitely go visit Ron at Tactical Austin Fitness. And uh, go, even if you can't take a class from him, go follow him on all his social media profiles, uh, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, on my old rope preparedness planner, I'm going to be doing a solar oven cook. I'm going to be cooking something in the solar oven. I've only done it once, but I want to do something a little different. Try to do a couple different things. We'll see. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link down below in the description. And come visit me at all my uh, social media sites and my website. Links down below in the description. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.